Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Pia Samre. Thanks for joining us. Rich Masabi. And here we go with our, uh, this is our Martin Luther King show for 2010. It is. I believe January's flying by here. Get you got your taxes ready yet? Getting there. <laughs> getting there. All right. Uh, well, our usual uh, suspects uh, on the show here tonight, News and Community Bulletin Board. Rich is here with reviews. Ready? Yes, I'm, per I'm ready. Should yeah. I go now? Ready? <laughs> no, wait. Oh, on cue. Okay, well, on your cue. <laughs> And uh, news for seniors, and then Pia is here uh, with an interview. Who's your interviewee tonight? Ah, yeah. Mr. Chuck. Mr. Chuck. Mr. Chuck. <laughs> Mr. Chuck. All right. You'll that have would to be find it. out. All right, stay tuned for that wow. and find out who Mr. Chuck is. That's uh, all coming your way on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. But before we bring you the news, we'd like to remind you that the Arlington Weekly News is now available on YouTube. Just head on over to www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News, and there we are. You can check us out on YouTube, like it or not. All right, first of our news items, Arlington has warned county residents of a sewage spill in Doctors Branch near Alcova Heights Park. The affected area to avoid starts at Alcova Heights Park next to George Mason Drive near Columbia Pike and continues through Four Mile Run at Barcroft Park to the Potomac. This is a precaution while the source of the sewage spill is still under investigation. Residents should stay away and keep their pets away until further notice to eliminate the risk of exposure to untreated sewage. The county has posted flyers along the affected areas of Doctors Branch and Four Mile Run. Information and safety tips, including information on reporting stream pollution incidents, is available on the county's a website, the County Department of Environmental Services website in particular, and uh, you can check that out at arlington.us slash d-e-s. Pia. Thanks, Craig. Arlington County reports that our 2010 real estate assessments for the commercial sector in the county, including office and apartment properties, declined by almost 13 percent compared to last year. Overall residential property value, including detached homes, condos, townhouses, and new construction, declined by 2.5 percent. In spite of the national recession and the tight credit market, Arlington is still considered to be attractive to business. Office vacancy rates are low, and because previous real estate assessments projected a decline of about 9 percent, the expected county and schools budget gap for fiscal year 2011 has decreased. For more information, head over to the county website at arlingtonva.us. Craig. All right, elsewhere in our news items, no doubt you've seen the different advocacy license plates around the state. And now, Virginia Delegate Bob Brink, who represents part of Arlington in Richmond, has introduced legislation in the General Assembly to create a new license plate design in support of abortion rights. Mr. Brink's bill on the docket is HB 1108, and that would create a plate that says, Trust Women, Respect Choice. According to Delegate Brink's office, some of the money raised by the sales of these plates would be sent to the Virginia League of Planned Parenthood. Virginia has already plates with the slogan, Choose Life, which sends money to an organization that supports abortion alternatives. Pia. Thanks. There were a number of community service events in Arlington, which Todd went to, our, our floor director, in connection with Martin Luther King Day observance. Here's some interesting information concerning the Arlington Mill, Columbia Pike neighborhood and stream cleanup project. Lily Weissel of Arlingtonians for a Clean Environment reports that they had a great turnout for the National Day of Service. 174 people signed up in order to clean up. And they hauled out 162 bags of trash and 25 bags of recyclables. They found one completely usable bicycle, which is being donated to Phoenix Bikes skateboards, a backpack, and an electric fan, and more. 
Ms. Weitzel of ASE says she's grateful to all the volunteers and the groups that came out for the event. Quite a collection of goodies. It is. We should, we should get a camera out there and record some of that when they do that again next year. What a great idea. Quite an event. All right. Elsewhere in our news, as one of this, his last acts before leaving office, former Governor Tim Kaine announced that three local elementary schools have earned the 2010 Governor's Award for Educational Excellence. And they are Arlington Science Focus, Arlington Traditional, and McKinley Elementary School. The Governor's Award is the highest honor under the Virginia Index of Performance, or VIP, program. And the Virginia Board of Education has recognized nine Arlington schools through the VIP incentive program, including Ashlong, Glebe, Henry, Jamestown, Nottingham, Oak Ridge, Taylor, and Tuckahoe Elementary Schools, and Washington Lee High School. According to a school system press release, these schools met state and federal accountability benchmarks for at least two consecutive, consecutive years and made significant progress toward goals for increased student achievement and expanded educational opportunities. Congratulations to all of those great schools in Arlington. Kia. That is great. My sister actually taught at one of them. Yay!